to this morning together. Hey, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. He's a part of our community. His name is Nathan. He's over here on the side. Everybody say hi, Nathan. He's going to share his art with us today. One of the ways that he worships Jesus is through his art. And so as we sing, he's going to um, do some creating over here um, so we can enjoy that together. Would, uh, would you pray with me as we begin our time together? Father, we come before you and we, would, we just want to give you glory. We want to worship you, Jesus, and lift your name high. Come, Holy Spirit, move in power as we worship you. Let's sing together. Our Father everlasting, be your creating one. God Almighty, through your Holy Spirit, conceive in Christ the Son, Jesus our Savior. Sister, I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is three in one. I believe in the resurrection.
praise, Lord. We 
stand. Oh, give him praise, church. Come on. Oh, we love you, Lord. Hey, you can have a seat for just a moment. I'd love to share some scripture with you. This is from Matthew chapter 16, 24 through 26. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must turn from your selfish ways. Take up your cross and follow me. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But... If you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is anything worth more than your own soul? A few years ago, I was just living my life, working hard, raising my kids. And this unseen, uh, unforeseen wave of depression just came over me, just crashed over my life. and I had had friends in the past and family members tell me that they struggle with depression, but I, I didn't really know what that meant. I thought I did, but I didn't know what that meant. I had never experienced depression before. It was, it was hell on earth. I, I, I could barely function. I could barely go to work. It was during the season where I realized that true worship happens. True worship happens when we have nothing left. I learned for the first time really what it means to surrender. So, so much of our anxiety comes from trying to be successful or trying to become known or control stuff or make money. But when we don't receive our confidence straight from God, it will eventually all fall apart this season I'm continuing to learn more about surrender I, it's a daily thing for me like right now I feel surrendered but tomorrow I could wake up and some new anxiety or habit or worry may be plaguing me again I wonder if you can relate so today what I'd love to do is just give us all an opportunity to practice the discipline of surrender as I share this next song I I just want us to pray, God, is there anything in me, in my heart, or in my life right now that doesn't honor you? And if so, would you give me the courage to release it to you? Is there anything in me, in my heart, or in my life that I need to surrender today? So that's what we're going to do um, for a moment as we share this next song. Would you pray with me? Father. Would you give us the courage to search ourselves? Would you reveal the parts of our lives and our hearts that we're holding back from you? Habits, addictions, anxieties, worries. Would you give us the courage to be fully yours today? Would a spirit of freedom come upon us in this room in this moment? And we love you in Jesus' name we pray. You can have it all, Lord. Every part of my world. Take this life and breathe on this heart that is now yours. You can have it all. Every part of my world and take this life and breathe on this heart that is now yours. Oh, joy I found. the feet of the King who surrendered everything and all the peace that comes when I'm broken and undone by your say 
can have it all, Lord. Every part of my world. Take this life and breathe on. This heart that is now yours I surrender all I surrender all All to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. You sing that with us. So, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, we recognize your presence in this room this morning, and we just want to say thank you for all of it. Uh, thank you that you say in your word that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. You say in your word, come to me all who are weary, and I'll give you rest. And so we just thank you for grace and for forgiveness and for second and third and fourth chances. You are truly a loving God. And so we come before you now with just grateful hearts. Um, would you move in power today as we open your word? Would you speak to us through your scripture? May we leave different than we came. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. We love to worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Well, it's good to be in church this morning. Why don't you take a moment, uh, meet someone in your section, and then you can find a seat. Thanks.